Oh yeah, what's happening guys? Welcome to day five of our daily vlog challenge. It's going good, hope everyone is staying safe as always. So, I wanted to start with a quick update on the plants. Um, our good friend Ali over here, not much has happened. But, as you might have that seen... not Ali. Oh, it's I always Fernie. call him Ali, it's Fernie, I'm sorry, we have an Ali. I can't remember the names of your children. I know, we have an Ali over there, I'm sorry. So, you might remember yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday, Tiff repotted the pathos plant into some uh, growlers here. Now, all of the leaves yesterday look like shriveled spinach. And look, this bad boy is like popping up, the guy at the back is like back in action. Couldn't believe it, and even this guy over here, not quite the same level, but he's starting. And we have one over in the kitchen that uh, is doing the same thing. So it's been not even 24 hours in the new containers, and they're killing the game. So I don't know. But the next question is can we repot those into soil once they're good to go? Yeah. That's the next one. It could be a survival story, it could it's be a survival hero's story. story. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm actually replying. We just dropped the other video, day four's video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out there. Did you already say that? I did not. Good. And I'm just replying to some comments right now. Uh, this video that we did was on how to fix the Instagram shadow ban. So I guess a lot of people have actually already been experiencing the Instagram shadow ban and yeah. have some thoughts on it too, or seem to really be enjoying the video. So I'm just responding to the comments. So don't be shy, okay? If you have something that you have a question that you want to ask us, ask us in the comments. We're here to reply. So what's on today? So right now, after I'm done replying to these comments, I'm gonna be working on some Instagram ads for clients. So we're yes. gonna talk about why you should be running ads and why there's no better time to run ads right now. <sighs> And Facts. then I'm going to be still doing some content calendar work. Um, and yeah, I think that's mainly what I have for the day. Nice. Uh, content calendar work, Facebook ads, and just like emails. I'm managing some partnerships for a client influencer partnerships. Oh, and I have an influencer post to make myself, actually. So I'm going to be taking care yes. of that now. Is that for the wine? Well. That's for uh, the wine account I mentioned in this video here. Uh, as a content creator, I also manage an account for myself, which is covers wine, coffee, spirits, and I'm doing something about spirits today. Oh, and craft beer. Of course. Yeah. Speaking and of craft beer, we have a, another live today at 6 p.m. with uh, the client. I guess that's the same client you're doing the ad for, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he is still doing a bi-weekly live session, like Senka Set, like five to seven type of thing. So we're going on at six o'clock. And this time it's not for the podcast, it's actually billed as high season. So Tiff and I will be talking about marketing, probably the same type of stuff we're talking about right now. Uh, why it's important to focus on social, uh, why it's important to run ads, all of that type of stuff, specifically aimed at the craft brewing industry. So that should be fun. Aside from that, I don't really know. I'm still not feeling good, so I'm kind of like out of it. I'm just kind of like taking things as they come. It's an, uh, like, I guess there's no better time to not feel good right now because I don't have to go anywhere. I don't really have to do anything crazy. Usually just a few phone calls here and there and like small things which I can just continue to work on. So, all right, all right we'll check in shortly. Alrighty, so I was a little jealous that Tiff got wine mail the other day. <laughs> so I got some beer mail that just arrived. So just like with Tiff, and Liquid Happiness being content creators for wine, spirits, coffee, and a touch of beer. Uh, our craft beer podcast, BAOS, uh, exclusively focuses on craft beer. And uh, often we get breweries, we're on PR lists essentially. So breweries, mostly in Canada, there are some in the States. There's some legalities with shipping across the border. So we do have like a, a friend in Vermont who takes our orders for us. I have received stuff from the States before, so it does work. But typically we get things from Canada. And basically they send stuff to, um, you know, to get it promoted, really. Uh, when we started doing the video section of the podcast, we were just buying all the beers that we were promoting. So over time, and as we grew our audience, of course, you know, that's what we always say. You grow your audience and then people will want to either advertise with you, sponsor episodes, or uh, send you products to review. So this is from a brewery in Toronto called Henderson. Nice to have a uh, Union Pearson Ale. This is a, like, classic IPA. And then... Oh, Rye Barrel Amber Ale. There you go. It's very kind, always quality. It's nice to receive something during these times. So, to confirm, I Lysol down the box and I am going to Lysol down these cans and now the table that I put them on. Um, <laughs> right? It's really weird. It's you have to think thing. of all these different things now. So, it's kind of crazy. And often they send like a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a descriptor of what the beers are and stuff 
for when we do the reviews. So I'm gonna clean these and then we'll get some coffee. Hello. Coffee time, careful Todd. Thank you very much. How's it been? You good? So busy. <laughs> Tiff hasn't even looked up from the desk today, hence the different setup. Yeah. Um, oh little... yeah, look here. I'm just not even on that side at all. It's not really uh, It's couch. been a busy day, but busy is good. Yeah. So right, rather be busy than bored. So we want to talk a little bit about why we think it's a good time right now to be running Facebook and Instagram ads or any ads probably for that matter. Yes. Um, something that we noticed over the last couple of weeks is that we're getting a really good bang for our buck when it comes to ads. When I say bang for our buck, it means that the cost per action, so that the cost that we're paying to have our intended audience perform a specific action, whether it be go to the website or engage with the post or send a direct message, is much lower than what we're used to seeing. So while we we're talking back and forth about that, we're like, okay, I wonder like if other people in the industry are seeing this as well, if there's any other information on this. Yes, so I found some research this morning from some industry leaders and they are predicting or they're saying that it's about a 30 to 35% drop in the price for ads as far as the value that you're getting. So I guess that would be the CPM. Yeah, so it's not just us. Dropping. Yeah. So it's not just us, or CPV if it's cost per view. Yeah. So if industry people are saying that, and then you saw something specific from Facebook. Yeah, so I actually, this was from yesterday. A lot of businesses have to be pulling back their forecast because so much is changing yes. so quickly. And Facebook has actually said that their ad revenue is being hurt by the current state of affairs in yes, the world. Yes, to be careful. We have to be careful with the language around this word. Um, Do people know that? So the uh, reason why yeah. we're not, I don't know if we've said that before, the reason why we can't say any of the main words about what's happening is that YouTube demonetize uh, all the videos. So we're not allowed to say any of the main words, so hence if we're talking around the subject, that's why. Yeah, so what's interesting actually right now with Facebook is that they're seeing an increase in usage because naturally everybody's home, everyone's on their phone. I just see people. Increase. I just see people in general being like, you know, how the iPhone. I don't know if Androids have this as well. Will be like, hey, your daily usage is up by like forty percent now. Yeah. So that just means more people are using Facebook and all the Facebook products like Instagram, WhatsApp, all those things more often than they ever have. Yes, but because so many businesses have to scale back on their marketing efforts in order to be sensitive to what's going on right now, they're not putting a bunch of money behind ad revenue. So if you have a business that is not really subject to the sensitivities around what's going on. Or is so it more the changes? Like the sensitivity is a one thing for sure, mm -hmm. but then there's also some businesses are just not allowed to open. I guess with the Oh, so for example, if you're, a re if you're a restaurant and you're not open, you probably don't need to be doing advertising right now. Totally. But there are other businesses like ours, we can still be advertising. We have other clients that are still able to advertise or who actually need to beef up their advertising yeah. to promote their online, like the shift from bricks and mortars to online. So if you did have a craft brewery, for example, and you're only allowed to do online deliveries, you may be running ads now to shift to online. Yes. And now you'll be paying less, most likely, because there's just less competition in advertising as a whole. Yes, which is a great point. I actually saw some, uh, basically there's a whole weird thing with beer. I don't know if we talked about this in one of the other vlogs, but you're not allowed to ship some provinces and states and different regions have their own shipping rules and different alcohol sales rules. So here in Quebec, breweries are not allowed to ship beer, but I saw one just now, they're doing a thing where they're selling it online, but they're not delivering it. You can pick up and they're arranging like a drive-by, mm -hmm. um, a drive-through sort of situation where you don't have to, with minimal contact. So it's causing people to be creative about that and that would be something that they could advertise yeah. because they are still open, they have a kitchen as well and they're able to sell stuff from there so they can still push the ads out. Yeah, so right now, if you've been always wanting to actually get into the ads field, you know we're big fans of ads, they Huge push choice. through the algorithm. We say it all the time, like organic reach. We're always looking to optimize organic reach. But if you want surefire, I'm going to get the people that I want. That's where advertising comes in. So we're big fans of this. If you have always wanted to run ads, this is a good time to be testing because you're going to probably pay less to start testing. So yes. take advantage of this period of time and start running small little engagement ads, small ads towards your traffic, because now you're probably gonna see a lower cost for your test. Yes. So definitely consider that. And if you're a business that's just always been running ads but you haven't been recently, then we definitely recommend if there's something that you want to be pushing, this is a really good time because your dollar is going to take you much further than it normally does. 100%. And I was just reading an article about Google AdWords. So it works a little different to Facebook and Instagram. So I think overall they're seeing a quite a serious dip 
Mm -hmm. as far as even the engagement with the ads, like as far as the ad clicks have dropped significantly according to this, which I thought was interesting because maybe more people are spending more time on social networks because they want to be connected with people as opposed to Google ad searches. So that is, you know, if you're searching for something in Google and you're clicking the, the advertised uh, post there. So that could be a correlation there. And on top of that, they had the seven industries that are uh, increasing in volume and increasing performance. So nonprofits and charities, health and medical, business management, finance, beauty and personal care, on-demand media, and greetings, gifts, and flowers. Interesting. Which is interesting, right? And then there's, it goes down with mixed versions and stuff like that. But I think I thought it was interesting that, that Facebook has dropped so much because people are getting out of the game, which makes it cheaper, but they're still, which means they're going to perform better. There's been no indication about a negative performance. Is that right? I haven't seen anything. Right, so yeah. but that's the first thing I've seen about mm -hmm. a, a dip in performance as opposed to price. Yeah. We're noticing a lag in the approval process for Google AdWords. Have, and did you and find Facebook it? And well. Facebook too. Yeah. And they so, let everyone know that. So Facebook, just for those who don't know, Facebook, Instagram, they're attached. You do everything in the ad manager backend. Yeah. So there is like a notice that says like, hey, there are going to be delays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something just to be aware of, particularly if you may be newer to it, you might not be aware of how that works, but to expect a bit of a delay, don't take that as uh, yeah, it's been declined or something's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it definitely is a good time. So if you do have that budget, you are one of those fortunate businesses that are able to still produce and still be open and still sell to the public. Now's the time. Yeah. And we are going to be doing a video or maybe a series of videos surrounding like how to create ads, how to optimize ads. We're going to start working on that on our side because we asked in the last video and I already some saw comments, some right? interest. Yeah, okay, I already good. saw some interest in that. So that's definitely something that we are going to explore, especially for those who are beginners and want some assistance with optimizing your ads because they will take your money if you're not careful. They will oh, yeah. really, and like really rub you. Really rub you if you're not and careful. And then people come out saying, no, they don't work. It's like, no, but you they do. didn't they're, do it they're, right. They work spectacularly Spectac when they're done. Well, yeah. Exactly. So this has been day five of yeah. our seven day vlogs. If there is anything you would like us to cover, any Q and A's on our last two days, only two days to go with these vlog series, please drop a comment and let us know. Yeah, we're going to go do a live now, right? Yeah, we have a live with a client, with a beer client. So that is in about 30 minutes, yeah. a little less. And we're going to be giving some marketing tips. We're going to be talking about marketing and craft beer. Yeah. yeah. So that is good. And I'd like to do some sort of high season live soon. If you guys are interested in us doing a live, maybe we can collate some Q&A, some questions beforehand, perhaps. I feel like that could be interesting. Yeah, I'm down be for that. Maybe go live on YouTube and Facebook or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and everyone can ask us questions and we'll have some pre-planned ones. Yeah. Just like we laid out in our first video, which will be here. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. We That's might it. leave you with a montage of the live. Who knows? You'll see after this. Yeah. But either way, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video and for joining us on day five. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. You can follow us everywhere at High Season Co on social media and check out our blog post at highseasonco.com. We will see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace. And of course, um, we know you very, very yes. well because uh, we know yeah. each other very well because uh, we actually work together. Uh, we've been working together since my 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 humble beginnings uh, last summer. Yes, uh, you've been helping me with uh, marketing, with um, social media, and uh, also just general uh, sparking the spark. Yes, usually I I, I, I tend to I like to call Craig and say, hey, uh, so let's talk for half an hour, and you'll just like spark ideas out of me. <laughs>